Hi, I'm Sharon. And hi, I am Happy Rich. Yeah. Better known as the Arn Boy. Why are you happy, my dear? Well, first of all, look where the show is. We are sitting outside in February, and it is 78 degrees in New York today. Yes, my watch says it's 74. Well, it was 78 when I checked the weather a little while ago. It is hot. Yeah, out. well, yeah, it's kind of shocking. It is. It's like it's like summer, yes. early summer. It's a little crazy. I'm draining the pool cover in the hopes I can uncover it and jump it. No, it's a solid, <laughs> it's a solid block of ice in there right now. No pool cast today. No, no pool cast today. <laughs> but we are outside and it's amazing. A beautiful, 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 beautiful. And the other reason. Uh, not I'm, yet. Oh. You can talk about that later. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not quite yet. I'm going to get a little later. <laughs> That's why I'm happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what that little outfit you bought. Ooh. I'm, I'm do, not. Do, 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 do. Ooh la la. <laughs> it's like beginning at the crazy horse in Paris. Anyway. I'll just let him go. What are go. we up to here? Okay. So this is. Knit. Okay, so it's knit. Yes, it's knit. It's this knit is a knitting style. show. Not style. Style. Knit style. Knit style. Correct. Episode one hundred eighty-six today. Whoa, hope no ticks drop on me. According to my show notes, one hundred eighty-six. No ticks will drop on me today. I hope that no ticks will drop on you today. Okay, I hope not either. It's a little, it's a little early for ticks, although you it's can't never be too, too early careful. For those little shits. As soon as it gets warm, you get the ticks. Yes. So, all right. So I know he's dying. I'm dying for what? To get the show over with, so I can that have some too. fun with you. Uh -huh. oh. oh my God. No. Anyway, ooh, it's so nice out here. This <laughs> must be spring fever. <laughs> I think it is spring fever. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, so he's dying to talk about, and I'll just jump right into it, my finished object. Is that what you're dying to talk about or not? No. No? That's not no, the other reason? No, of course reason. I'm going to oh, You notice, is... what am I wearing? A hot sweater and <laughs> <No>, It's 74. <laughs> 70, yeah, 74, and I'm wearing a mink sweater. <laughs> Only partly mink. Only partly make. Anyway, this is it. Yep. See? Ooh, here's the bottom. Oh. Turn around. There's this, a back to it, even. There's a back to it. This is the Puntilla by Hokey Locatelli. Hokey Locatelli. Sounds like a dance from the 60s. Let's do the Hokey Locatelli. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is it. Nice I neck. apologize to neck. Hokey. That. Well. You know, Jane would have been a nice name, or not Hokey. <laughs> She's Ho from Baroness Aries. Do Hokey. the Hokey Pokey. Oh, is She's she really? She's oh, okay. I don't know, I can't pronounce that. Baroness Do they really Baroness wear Aries. sweaters down there? It's kind of hot have down a there. No, I think they have a winter. Oh, do they? So people can see your beautiful sweater. Oh, I'm, well, I'm trying to show it to them. Okay, so actually, Hokey has a podcast. She calls it her journal, and I've been watching it. She's been, she has three episodes out right now, and she's adorable. She's she's great. Her audio, hmm, if you can't, if you're not tolerant of audio, her audio is not great. But it's okay. I can forgive her for that because, oh my gosh, she's just a beautiful well, she's designer. She's in Buenos Aires. She's in Buenos Aires, yeah. and she's in her summer. It's summer there now. I guess they get seasons opposite of us. No, like New Zealand. Yeah, similar. Or Australia. Mm-hmm. And from South Africa. This sweater, she's just such a beautiful designer. I cannot believe how well this fits him and came came out so well because it's really designed for a female. And you greatly modified it to fit me. I modified it to fit Rich, and I just knit a bigger size. I knit the XL, XXL. I don't know. I'll I'll put it down in the show notes what size I knit. And. I knit like an XL size and I made the arms a little bit wider because your arms are supposed to like be skin tight and I knew he wouldn't like that. No, I don't like so skin I, tight. So I just Besides made... Besides it would cramp my bulging muscles. Okay, we're going to move on. So yeah, I, I got some ease in the in the sweater and the, and the sweater also has a lot of ease in the body so it's easy pretty much to fit because it has so much ease and Rich, I have to say, 
and I know I'm tooting his horn, he's gonna love to hear this. Rich looks great in anything because he's tall, he's thin, and just things, he's like a perfect proportion. He, I, we always said, even my parents always said, you should have been a male model. What are you doing? My head's getting fat, I'm falling <laughs> no, over. I know. <laughs> we, <laughs> we always, my family always said that, that Rich should be a male model because you just look great. Whatever he puts on, if it's his size, he looks fa fabulous in it. No. You do, you look really, really good. sitting here in shorts too, by the way. Yep, you have shorts on because yes. it's hot. But well, how are you uh, doing in the sweater? Okay, it's really not too bad. Yeah, it's nice right at the it's, moment. We're in the shade, that's why. We're in the shade. I was in the sun before. I was sweating. That's why my hair looks like hell. There's a little bit of a breeze, so not it's much not of a bad. breeze, but yeah. Yeah, but Rich looks fabulous in everything he puts on, and this sweater is no exception. So knitting for Rich, knitting garments for you, is a pleasure, and I'd be. I'm excited to cast on another sweater for you. Hmm, that's all my. That makes two of us. I really am. I'm, it comes down half as good as this. I'll be happy. We're gonna look for yarn in Edinburgh. Mm hmm. But I don't know. Rich is yarn sensitive, so it has to be soft. So we'll see. I don't know if a woolen spun is really gonna do it for. You know, you might be able to wear Brooklyn tweed. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll find see. a soft sheep. We'll find a soft sheep. Anyway, I will be wearing this to the Edinburgh Yarn Festival. Yes. So if you would like to see it and feel it, please. Just find me. I will be at the festival beer tent <laughs> and food tent, <laughs> drinking and eating. Yeah. Just look for me there. I'm going to be shopping until I drop. Today before and we... And then you'll complain on the way, I don't have any room in my suitcase. I don't care. <laughs> I'm buying you better a new... care. You're going to get on a plane. I'm buying a new suitcase. If I have oh. to carry yarn on the plane with me to come home, I will. Today before before we recorded... I was having my tea and looking at patterns and colors and putting things in my favorites to decide what I want to buy. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if you can bring, does anybody know anymore if you, I guess you're not allowed to bring alcohol home with you. I know Scotland has some phenomenal gin. I think you could put one in your suitcase and I think you'll be okay because we're we're, we have a direct flight, so your luggage isn't going to be jostled around a lot. So bring some bubble, bubble wrap. wrap and masking. Yeah, it'll look like I have a bomb in there if they open it'll it up. It'll be fine. It'll be <laughs> fine. It's just I'll put alcohol. a fuse on the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's no not funny. Message. Don't no, joke about funny. that. But anyway, no, I, I'm, I would like to bring... I used to be able to carry it on a plane, but mm -hmm. now, oh, God forbid. Yeah, you can't, you you know, can't, you can't carry anything. liquids, on, for sure, particularly alcohol. But we'll we'll figure out a way. We'll put it in your suit. We'll put it amongst all of the yarn. We'll cushion it. I'll bring it. extra plastic bags. Yes, so in case it leaks, but that won't that won't help. It doesn't matter. I'll just wash the yarn, but it'll be fine. We'll be fine. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm. I really want to start knitting color work sweaters. Oh my goodness! I cannot wait. This is now finished, so I'm super excited to be casting on some color work sweaters. And let me talk about that a little bit. I had shown you a swatch a few weeks ago that I did of the Humulus sweater out of hand spun and some commercial yarn for the color work. And I decided I don't think that that yarn is the right yarn for that pattern. So I am not going to knit that hand spun into that pattern. Okay. I've decided I'm going to knit the hand spun into a stroker by Isolde Teague, which is my original plan for it. And the entire thing, even the color work, is going to be hand spun. So that's way in the future because I haven't even finished applying the hand spun. So I went online one evening during a week moment and bought some yarn from Scandinavia or Norway or I don't even know where it's coming from it's coming from somewhere somewhere over there but you know I gotta say it was not expensive a sweater's worth of yarn in the original yarn that was that's in that pattern I bought the exact same color and the exact same yarn that that she used um, it's Isabel Kramer who who wrote the pattern so I bought the exact same yarn that she used, a sweater's worth, enough for my size. With shipping, the yarn was $65. Hmm. 
that time. Which yeah. is really, really cheap. That's what I paid for this, for you. So I'm super excited. The only thing is I don't have the contrast color. They didn't have that color in stock. So I'm either gonna wait till I get to Edinburgh, hopefully they'll have that yarn there or something similar. Because I want the right shade of yellow for that light gray. So that's that one. What are you looking at? Oh, let's see if I have to trim anything before. <laughs> Rich has been doing, you've been doing outdoor work. A little bit, trying mm -hmm. to, yeah, I got a lot to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, everything that I pushed off the years that I was working. I'll do when I retire, now I have to do yeah. it. Yeah, well same thing as me, I've been organizing, doesn't our house look fantastic? Yeah, it's coming along pretty good. I must say, and you must admit, Everything looks beautiful. Our house looks, it's clean. If we haven't neat. used it in six months, it's out the door. And it's everything, I like things, um, I like, I don't like a lot of clutter. In fact, I can't stand it. I hate paper clutter, I hate, so everything, all the surfaces are neat and clean and now everything in the closet. It's coming and, along quite nicely. And in the cupboards is all organized. I am so happy, it makes me so happy. I know I have to get busy it's, selling on eBay. Who has time to do anything anymore? I well, have so much stuff to sell on eBay. Okay, I can so make a fortune. I keep telling him to pull out all the stuff he has, give it I to do, me. I have it in the closet. Okay, so get it out and I will take pictures of it because I have that capability oh, of do taking you? pictures Ooh. of things you to sell. You take pictures? I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, cool. It's kind of something that I ah. do. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. Okay. So. So now what? Now what? I'm gonna. T I finished something else. I have two finished objects this week. Whoa! Who am I, honestly? Just uh, burning away the needles. Good thing you're not using wood ones. They probably catch fire. What do you think? Oh, you finally finished them out. Seventy-eight yes, degrees. Today. I know. <laughs> Boot toppers are oh, good. So I finished these beautiful, beautiful. It's focusing on your face. Get it in front of your face. Oh my. Well, it likes my face. It knows that. It answer. does like your face. But I don't want it. There we go. Hold it now. Oh. And I'll read about it. Okay. Oh. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, these are the Charlene Boot Toppers by Kristen Kapoor. And they're worn, you can, they're worn oh. with this this part, this boot part, <laughs> you're playing peekaboo. Under this part, this long part under your boot, and then this folds over the top of your boot. So, but your boots have to be tight, otherwise it's not going to fold over too well. Yeah. Well, you, these, it stretches. Look how much that stretches out. Oh, okay. It'll be fine. If we wore pirate boots, it might mm -hmm. not work, but yeah, and poppers. I love them. It used an entire skein of Malabrigo Rios in this lovely, lovely brown color. Mm. And I love them. I can't wait to, it's going to get cold and I will wear them again. I will wear them before the winter's over. Well, I'm bringing shorts to Scotland. Yeah, why not? Those Scots better be used. If they can wear a kilt, I can wear shorts. That's right. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, two finished objects, one of which is a sweater. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so excited. Good. So let's talk about what I've been working on. Let's. Could you hold that for me, honey? Sure. Thank you so much. Did you dye anything this week? I did. Oh, is it out here? It is. Of oh, course it's okay. out here. Okay, so I also have been working diligently on my socks. And I have been putting in between 15 and 20 rounds every day. So these are actually almost finished as well. Hopefully they'll be finished by the next time we record. I am knitting them in tandem. Oh, yes. You Would want it? them? They might fit you. They're kind of... Too girly for you? Yeah, probably. But that's okay. Not that it matters. I don't Doesn't really matter. care. Nobody looks under my pants but I'll probably... except you. <laughs> so, they're this... nice. Why wouldn't you want to wear them? Beautiful. I know. I'm, they're a little big because oh. I used a bigger size needle, but no. they'll be fine. So this is, this is... Yeah, they probably will shrink. I, I put all my socks... I don't know if I've ever talked about uh -oh. this before. How I launder my socks. I have to do something quick. Can I leave for a minute? Yeah, go ahead. I know I, he's, he's got to put my wash in the dryer. I you did, do? but it was soaking wet. So I restarted the whole thing again. I thought oh. me, the top was up and I the stuff go. was in. 
Okay, so let me talk about my socks. Well, Rich does my laundry sometimes, which is amazing. Rich is so good with housekeeping. He, Rich actually really enjoys keeping a nice house. So he, he has on a schedule now, like he cleans once a week. Now that everything is so nice and organized, he always did before too, but now we're really organized. And he cleans everything once a week and it's beautiful and he's awesome. So anyway, so um, let me talk about how I launder my socks. I throw them in the wash basket and they go in the wash and they go in the dryer because you know what? I'm not hand washing socks. It's just not happening. I, you know, I have too many other things going on. And you know what? My socks are beautiful. They're fine. If the dye job is done properly, it's not going to fade. I have all my, all my self-striping socks that I own are in perfect shape and look the same as they did the first day I washed them. So I will put these in the wash and the dryer and I, they'll tighten up just a little bit. They don't felt. So anyway, this is just a plain vanilla sock with a fish lips kiss heel. And I'm really happy with them. And I didn't, um, this fish lips kiss heel I just kept knitting. I didn't use, I usually use the opposite end of a ball and a self striping, of the other ball and of the self striping yarn because I don't want to interrupt the stripes. But there's, this is so busy and there's so many stripes, you can't tell. So, these will be finished by next week, I'm hoping. And then my February socks are finished, which is amazing. Everything okay? <laughs> Where's your little friend? My little friend. Where's Woody? Or whatever his name is. Oh, he's inside. I don't want the termites to get at him. He doesn't want the termites to eat his little friend, so okay. Anyway. Anyway, so okay. my wash is okay? Yeah, I don't know what happened. The, the, the top of the wash machine was up. There were no lights on it at all. And you, the wash was all like wet. Yeah, and I didn't, you did that. Maybe you left it in there? No, if it wouldn't have washed if I left the okay, top off. Okay, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. So. The ghost of the here. <laughs> open the ghost of the sock. Okay, so then, uh-oh, uh -oh. I, I may have to go in myself because I think I forgot a project. I did. Oh. So I have to go get it. Okay. So you can keep the people entertained. I was okay. telling them what a good housekeeper you are. I am? I used to be much better. No, she's a good housekeeper. I'm a better one, but they won't. You were saying such bad things about me. I'm going to have to cut that whole cut it out. piece out. Yeah. Either that or I'll put it at the end. <laughs> put it at the end. <laughs> All right, so this next project is Le Milieu by Mina Phillip. And I had started this a couple of weeks ago. And I first started it with a yarn that Kristen Wollenvine Yarns had dyed and I had purchased. And it wasn't enough of a contrast, so I ripped it out. I did it again with this yarn that I dyed as a contrasting color, which is pretty much the same color as those boot toppers. Mm. I started it with this yarn and I just wasn't feeling it. I think the gray in this yarn just was kind of boring together. I think this yarn would look gorgeous with gold. So I think I may do a gold, another one in gold and um, this color. So I ripped that out. And now I started it again with this gray, which is La Bien Ami in the um, Autumn at Rhinebeck colorway. And this color that I dyed, and I'm gonna be dyeing some of it this weekend. So this will be on sale next week in my shop. But this is called Enchantress. And I love it. It's just really deep, deep rainbowy color. Mm. And look how pretty it is. It's definitely a nice contrast. So this is the wrong side. Very and nice. And this is the right side. And I love it. I, so now I'm really happy with it. Right side, wrong side. I think it was the right side, wrong side. Well, this is really reversible. Mm. 
But when you're knitting it, this is you do all of your work on this side. On the right side, you do all of your increases and decreases on this side. Okay. So, and I just love this vibrant jewel-toned yarn with this light gray. I'm in love with it, and it just it has these little pops of yellow and pink, and this beautiful deep turquoise and deep purple. I love it. It's a lot like. Um, um, Twilight Princess, but it's it's brighter this colorway, and I'm gonna dye it on Saturday and have it next week in the shop. Right. I have one more thing to talk about. Okay. I'm going to be casting this on tonight because I finished the yeah. sweater. I want to cast on another garment. I'll put a witness on this dirty chair. No, you'll be fine. Okay. So I'm casting on a garment, and I've been wanting to cast this on for weeks for a month at least. And this is called, look how pretty, look how cute this is. Oh, that's really nice. This is it's like a poncho, it is a turtleneck poncho. poncho. It's a poncho, turtleneck oh. poncho. This is called Indigo Frost by oh. Isabel Kramer. Wow, Indigo. That mm -hmm. was the name of a bandit on one of Clint, e Clint Eastwood's for a few dollars more, Indigo. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I love I love those movies, those spaghetti westerns. Yeah. Yeah. You had them on the other. And look, night. It, a poncho. I mean, his was a little more roguey looking. Yeah. True. Nice well, anyway, those. yeah, he did. So I am going to cast this on, and this is my hand dyed yarn. I haven't named this color. It's a silver gray, and. It, this is a yarn that I really don't carry in my shop, but I bought a pack of it so I could dye some up for Donna because Donna wanted to knit this. And so I figured, well, if Donna's going to knit it, I'm going to knit it too. And I got a whole pack and dyed the entire 10 skeins for both of us. So it's a color work poncho. It has mm -hmm. some color work. So I have these, hold those. I have those, these two grays. Now this is non-super wash wool which is a little trickier to dye because it doesn't take the dye the same as superwash. So I got, I got gray, I got this beautiful yellow, this beautiful pink, and I meant for this to be black, and it's really more of a dark brown. Mm. But that's okay, it's fine. Um, I love it, these are my three colors, and then the, the gray is the contrast, the main color. And I love it. It's pretty, right? Yes. And it's a worsted weight, non-super wash wool that I got from my supplier. And Donna knit a poncho, the same poncho out of this. Oh, okay. With some, I'll put in a picture of hers. Hers came out so beautiful. She did pink and white as the contrast, as these colors. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous poncho. I'll, I'll put in a picture. She loved knitting with the yarn. And when I felt that, oh, it was so nice. It was real, it, it knits up so nice. So, yeah, I'm really excited about casting this on tonight. I know I saw some beautiful yarn last night online. Yeah? Seventh floor, seventh floor yarn. Oh, seventh floor yarn, I she know She had them. an orange and a yellow, which was just, all the picture was me in this really cool orange sweater with a yellow stripe. Well, I could make that happen for you. Huh, that's beautiful yarn though. She has beautiful yarn. I had yarn. to leave a comment. I had to leave a comment. Yeah, I know. I always leave comments. So I think people do such a great job. Yeah, I mean, she, they should. She was at Vogue Knitting Live. Um, she had a booth there. So, And I didn't, I'm so sorry I didn't get to stop by because we had a tragedy that day and I had to go home early. Yeah. That's when our dog passed away. So that was really sad. So I'm sorry I didn't get to see you there. But I had met her at Rhinebeck and she's a lovely lady and does beautiful work. She's the one who sent us that those stitch markers with our names on them. Oh, okay. That's seven for you. Ah. Okay, so that's it for my works in progress and my finished objects. And I've that's been it doing for so my much. work in progress. Yeah, yeah, poor Rich has not knit at all, but we've been busy doing. Yeah, we've it's been so organizing, hard. which is so much fun. I love organizing. All right, yeah, I have my big fun. bag of yarn. <laughs> oh, your big bag of yarn. Of course, when I get it. Ooh. And look at this bag I have. Oh, now this that's week. nice. Isn't Whoa. it so yeah. cute? That is really nice. Okay, so this is Donna and uh, my 
one and only St. Patrick's Day bag that we are offering and oh my gosh, look how cute. That is really nice. Dogs. The color is unbelievable. Thank you. Dogs, little bones, little shamrocks. It is, look at the cute little dogs. I know, and the yarn is like so perfect. Thank Match. you. So I want to make sure that I can get a close up of this. I'll hide my face. I love it so, 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 so much. And the little shamrocks and bones are very, very slightly um, metallic gold. So the, the yarn I did black, green, and with a little gold accents, gold speckles, and I adore this. This is Erin Gobark. Erin Gobark, how cute. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're going to be in, in, in Scotland for St. Patrick's Day. And I doubt they celebrate it. <laughs> yeah, probably not. It's different. Who, although place. I don't know, because... Who knows? Hey, anyway, it's Wednesday. Let's have a drink. It's a, it's a drinking holiday, basically. An excuse to drink, which is fine. So, But I, I'm so excited about this bag. Everything. And I love the dogs. It's got these beautiful... I don't even know. Is this a chihuahua or is it a pit bull? I can't decide. <laughs> which one? <laughs> this one. It I looks think... like a Boston Terrier. Oh, it could be a Boston Terrier. Yep, and this looks like a lab, and this looks like a little bulldog. It's super cute. It was very nice colors. Thanks. By the way. Thank you. I didn't even notice that one. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take... A bunch of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out first. Okay. So... I dyed this color before, but I tweaked it a little bit, and it's much better than it was when I first dyed it. So this is Poor Unfortunate Soul. And it's a Little Mermaid reference. Oh, okay. When Ursula sings about poor unfortunate souls who sell their souls to Ursula. And that's the... What? You only would come up with stuff like what? that. What? I'm a Poor Disney fortune soul. I didn't put the whole Yeah, I remember that. Well, yeah. Well, you didn't watch The Little Mermaid a hundred thousand times when our kids were little. No, I didn't watch it. You're lucky I watched it once. I love The Little Mermaid. It's one of my favorites. But this is Poor Unfortunate Soul. You can't remember that better. song? The only one I remember Poor is Poor Unfortunate Soul. Under the sea. Under the sea. Well, Ursula sings Poor Unfortunate Soul. Oh, okay. That one. No, I don't remember it. Okay. Anyhow, Poor Unfortunate Soul. I love it. And it would go beautifully with Twilight Princess if you have some of that. So there's two sparkly ones, a posh one, and a trendy one. If you guys like it, I can dye some more. So that's Poor Unfortunate Soul. Now I have something new. Is? I have oh. something new this week. Yes, what? This is a new thing. Oh, okay. I dyed yarn with coordinating mini skeins. Oh. Look, so this is the heel and toe for the sock. Oh, okay. And this is the yarn. Yes, I've noticed people doing that. It's very cute, yes. actually. So these are these are a set. So I'm selling them as a set. If for some reason you don't want the mini, just let me know. But they are gonna go up as a set. You gotta okay. hide your face. Just put the bag in front of it. I'm gonna put the bag over my head. <laughs> the camera likes me. What can I tell you? It has I taste. Know. Okay, so this is this color is wild iris, and it's this beautiful purple with a little bit of subtle green and subtle pink speckles. And I absolutely love it. So I have four of these with coordinating. Oh, okay. And I adore them. Where's this one go? That's with me. Oh. So I have, these are all in trendy. Trendy is my favorite sock base. I love it. You can put them back in here. I have the other ones all moved over. Okay. You can put them back in here. You can put them back? Right in that corner, yes. All right, so then I have... Jeez. It was, it's been so gray and rainy and disgusting that I decided to dye something bright and pretty. Well, I'll fold these two. That way I can put it in front of my face and I don't have to get yelled at. I have many people who follow my shop and follow this show 
who love rainbow bright colored yarn. You know who you are. So this sunshine, let it pops and grows it. Oh. There you go. This is actually called Reading Rainbow. Oh. Remember? Yes, that, that show? sounds familiar. Reading familiar. Rainbow? Yes. Well, with LeVar Burton? Yes. Back in the day? So this is Reading Rainbow. I've been doing a lot of reading lately, as I've been dying, so I decided to call this Reading Rainbow, and I absolutely love it, and it, each one comes with a coordinating skein of beautiful sunny yellow. This should be your favorite, because mm -hmm. you love sunny yellow. So I love this. Love, love, love. And that's it. Okay. That's all I have for this week. Yeah, alrighty. So, whoa. Shares are not very stable here, are they? I've been busy buying, buying. I've been busy dying pre-orders. I actually bought something this week. I should go get it. Okay, first before I talk about that, we gotta just finish up with, with the shop update. So the okay. shop update is tonight, Wednesday, February 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're, wa I know you're gonna be watching this way beyond that. I'm sure there'll be plenty of yarn left in the shop. However, I would. Get on that if you want any of those rainbow colors or those dark colors because people seem to like them. So, um, thank you so much to everybody who shot my sale last week. Mm. I won't be having a sale for a very long time, so I'm glad you guys took advantage of that. I pretty much sold out. Yeah, you sold pretty awesome. much everything out of there. That was amazing. So, thank you so much. And new stuff to come, new products. I love the, the, coordinating skeins, so I'll hopefully be doing more of that. Okay. So I bought something. Oh, okay, good for you. I bought something too. You did? What'd you buy? Liver cleanse. Uh, <laughs> liver cleanse. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I bought something from my favorite dyer, who is Jinx Yarns. One of my favorite dyers. Jinx and Volenbein Yarns are my two favorite dyers. Jinx specializes in self-striping yeah, yarn them. yeah on instagram all the time yeah laura the, yeah from jinx nice yarn one, yeah. i know i know i know laura personally and i adore her i adore her colors i just she's so talented and she not only dyes self-striping she dyes other you know variegated colors she just does beautiful work so this is wildflowers isn't it pretty mm -hmm. It's, it's like muted colors, but I just love this. I just love it. It's gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this. Yeah, and it's in the nice sparkle base. That. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. She does. And this, these make stripes. Wow. So I don't do that. It's very labor intensive, but I buy dyers who do. So I love this. And one reason I wanted to order from her was she this is my very first enamel pin. Oh, oh, uh, in the form of a little sock. It's a tiny, itsy bitsy sock. I love it. I have this color. And I this have a color hook on my sweater. In case, I know. I have. In case to take, I go fishing, I can just. I have a stitch marker still in this sweater. But anyway, anyhow, I have this color. This is her sketchbook color colorway that she had made into an enamel pin. It's my very first enamel pin. And you need to get your face out of the way so I can show this beautiful enamel pin. Nope, it's still focused on you. <sighs> I can't help it. It likes me. It does like you. So there it goes. Okay. So th I just love it. It's beautiful. It's in her, it's a sock in her sketchbook colorway, and she's known for self-striping yarn. So she had these made up. We should do an enamel pin for and my that, shop. And what shape will it take? I'm thinking we should do our old martini glass, our old knit style, our uh, TV knitting podcast martini glass. I think would be awesome. Mm -hmm. with a little yarn and with knit style at the bottom. But I have to get our daughter to design it and whenever I ask her to do something, she, she's very busy. She, it's hard, so she, I don't know. She's annoying. She doesn't want to do anything. Well, no, it's fine. 
I I understand. She's busy. She has her own thing she wants to do. We had a, in an area rug in our dining room, which we really hate. It was very dark. It show when you have a cat that has white hair, you don't want any kind of carpeting that's dark. So this is our our old carpet was very yes. very dark and had ugly. Like ma maroon. It was it had a nice design, but the colors just no didn't match anymore. So we wanted something lighter. Right. So Sharon's with this beautiful area rug. It at Wayfair.com. Mm. And it is very light color, and it's distressed. It's like you really get something that's really worn out. I mean, it's a beautiful, it's beautiful a just, rug. I'll pop in a picture of the rug. I'll mm. just grab it from Wayfair's website. It's, you know how like real Oriental rugs would get distressed, you know, as you walk on them, and they're they're cool that way. So they made this this rug to look distressed. So our daughter comes over for dinner Sunday, and I we said, put this rug in on yeah, Sunday, and I before she came over, and I love loved it. it. Oh my God, it's so now beautiful. the cat realizes how soft it is. Oh yeah, now he's on top mm -hmm. of it. So anyway, so M comes over. She comes over, and I said to her, I said, "Hey, you like the new rug we just put in? We got a new rug." She looks at it and goes, "Ew, what did you buy an old rug for?" <laughs> she didn't get it at all. No. And neither did our son. He's like, "It looks worn out." I said, "That's what it's supposed to look like." And they, they just don't understand, they don't get no. it. It's pretty funny. But our, I love our rug, it looks gorgeous. <laughs> our dining room looks I think our son beautiful. has a nice rug in his room. It's called his clothes, which roll <laughs> over the floor that he just walks all over. That's what's in He's his room. He's a kid. He, once they get their own place, it's Oh, different. I hope so, I don't want to even, oh, no. <laughs> no thanks. So anyway, little tangent there. Mm. But that's, that's it. That's all I want to talk that's about it. today. Okay. So, well, then, I guess it's time for us to go. It is time for us to go. I hope you guys have a great week. And happy, happy knitting. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trail. I don't remember that from Sunday yes, Night Roy Rogers show. I, I vaguely. Yes, they used to my, sing that song. My brother was obsessed with Roy Rogers. Yeah. Back in the back, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, he's long dead. Yep. Anyway, I got happy knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I got distracted. Happy knitting and cheers. cheers. How does that look? Oh, that looks pretty good, I guess. It actually looks really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. It's focusing on my face. That's okay. Focus on my face. <laughs> all right, honey. Okay, so should we start this? The quicker we start, the quicker we're over. All right, that's true. Mm -hmm. Normal boots it will. I may have to adjust the ISO on this camera. Hold on. What does that mean? Make it brighter. And now, since she's retired, she's Miss Neat. And she wants me to be Mr. Neat. But I don't want to be Mr. Neat because she got me in the habit of being slovenly. And not caring. So, here we are. Cheers. I think I'm going to make myself a drink. I'm going to need but one. I just had some really good tea. So I I'm just good. saw a recipe on Instagram. Mm -hmm. The old fashioned whiskey sour. Oh yeah. Egg white. Yeah, that's how my parents made it. Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it this weekend. Yeah, so anyway, go ahead. Egg, Egg white. white. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, mm -hmm. simple syrup, some raspberries you throw in there. Raspberries? Yeah. Oh. Bourbon. Okay. And you shake the hell out of it, pour it into a martini glass, and mm. garnish it with more raspberries. Wow, my parents used lemonade, and they used the egg white. They didn't use the raspberries, but I guess they, the, they made that every holiday. Whiskey sour, a pitcher of whiskey sours. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I could drink a whole pitcher myself, but that's I can't drink good. anymore. So no, I I still can. It just makes me. I just sneeze. they just had an article. Some doctor said that you're better off having a couple drinks during the week than exercising. Yeah. If you want to live to be ninety. No, I heard that that moderate drink or mild drinking can lengthen your life. And every once in a while, I still have one glass of wine. Well, yeah, I can't have Friday any more than that. I had, had one glass. One glass, and I had one I can't. beer from the Czech Republic. 
big dark beer. I talked to my allergist about it. I said, why do I, why do I sneeze when I have wine? Am I allergic to the wine? He said, no. What it is, it's it, something to do with the blood vessels in your nose. I probably have that rosacea thing, but they can they constrict or expand or something and makes it makes me very stuffy my nose stuffy and then I can't taste anything and that's no fun so I only have no shoes cool and age it doesn't matter it doesn't yeah. help oh, mm -mm. I can only have one drink every You're once fine in with a while. one yeah. I'm fine with one if I have more than that I start sneezing and it's all over it's miserable so it's so anyway it's better for me anyway. I'd rather have a dessert than have alcohol mm. because I'd rather have both a drink or two and then dessert. It keeps my weight down not drinking all that alcohol. So. No, I, I, yeah, my weight doesn't go. My weight's been pretty good. I went running yesterday and today. Good, you need to do it. And boy, it was rough. Mm -hmm. all right. Are we still on? We are still on. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I thought we were just sitting here talking. No, we're yakking away to the camera. I find a web of grill color. You, it's lovely. Well, I'll go I, over it. I love a web of charcoal grill. I will never buy a gas grill again for the rest of my life. All I right. love charcoal. We're done. Dirty, but 